Hello, welcome to this new series on reinforcement learning in MATLAB. Um, basically, this series is about applying reinforcement learning within MATLAB. I just got done creating a series on deep learning in MATLAB, so if you're interested, check that out. Um, this is more or less a continuation of that, where now we'll be de dealing with reinforcement learning within MATLAB. So here I have the MATLAB's um, uh, reinforcement learning toolbox page. Now MATLAB has a separate reinforcement learning toolbox for, of course, for RL, and um, it is pretty useful. It makes life much easier where you can apply all these fancy state-of-the-art algorithms right off the box, right out of the box. Um, you don't need this toolbox to do reinforcement learning. If you have the deep learning toolbox, you can still apply the same concepts, but then Having this toolbox makes life much easier because you have the experiment manager and you have um, the algorithms and the agents pre-implemented. So that um, does a lot of work for you. And also because it is integrated with Simulink, so it's nice to have Simulink blocks for agents. So if you're working on Simulink, you can apply reinforcement learning directly there. So this toolbox is a nice addition to uh, MATLAB. Now, as with all MATLAB documentation pages, the reinforcement learning toolbox one is also pretty detailed and there are plenty of examples and environments and agents and whatnot. So if I just go into the getting started, there's a example of grid world and then there are car, there are different um, card poll and other sorts of examples, but um, we will be taking a different route. So, I have here opened the OpenAI gyms page. So OpenAI environments are basically created by OpenAI and the library is called gym. And there are, there are certain environments like um, that involve classical control like cart pole, mountain car, and so on. Now, these environments are basically the standard because um, anyone who does research and reinforcement learning tends to use these environments because um, they are kind of like universal, like because um, they're a they're open source, and um, if multiple people are using the same environment, then you can compare the results of different algorithms. So um, somehow these environments became the standard for trying out reinforcement learning algorithms. So that's why we will be using these. Unfortunately, these environments are written in Python, so. Um, the good thing is MATLAB has some integration with Python. Like there are two, uh, there are libraries that integrate Python um, libraries within MATLAB. So we do have interface for that. So um, we will be using those um, interfaces between MATLAB and Python to load in this gym library. So um, there are plenty of plenty of environments rather. Um, from Atari games to all sorts of things. So, but we are basically going to deal with simple examples because um, I want my reinforcement learning um, workflow to be quick, but then um, the techniques can be applied to very complicated environments as well. So now with this out of the way, um, let's deal with what reinforcement learning really is. Now I'll try to um, differentiate machine learning and reinforcement learning, or rather, um, what is reinforcement learning and how does it fit in the paradigm of machine learning? So uh, tra uh, traditionally, um, how does a machine learning model work is so you give it some input. So this input could be images or text and you get some output. So for example, your task could be classific classification of images or um, uh, classification of images and categories, classification of images and uh, different types, or predicting the next word and so on. So there are like many, 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 many possible tasks. So you feed in your model. It could be a neural network. It could be a statistics model. It could be anything like that. You feed in images, text, or whatever your input is, and you get an output. You compare this output to um, what it should be or the labels of your data. And then um, depending on the difference, you tune your model. So the goal is to have the output as close to the labels or the desired output that you want. 
So this is how a machine learning model learns. So feeding an input, get the output, compare how close it, it is to where it should be, and then tune your model like that. Now, reinforcement learning is a very different paradigm. And let me start by giving this example of this grid world. So this image I've taken from uh, MathWorks doc documentation page. And suppose um, this is a grid, five by five, there is some obstacle over here. And this is where you need to reach, right? And you are this agent or you are this player. Now, how should you move such that you reach this obstacle? This is a very simple example. There could be enemies, there could be a lot of things. Now you are an uh, agent over here. How do you move in the shortest amount of time or steps to reach this objective? This is the kind of problem that reinforcement learning deals with. So um, uh, let me give a simplistic view of it. So you have an agent. Here, uh, the agent is this red dot. And then you have this environment. Environment is this grid with the obstacles and the terminal state. So everything that is not the player or the agent is the environment, right? So the agent sees the environment because it is living in that environment. It observes the environment and um, it gets some reward for doing certain actions. So say if it reaches the terminal state, it won the... Uh, game so it should get some reward and so on so this is what the agent sees and gets and then based on these observation it will take actions so here's the agent here's the environment environment tells the agent what are your rewards what is the observation and based on that the agent takes actions so um, for example um, here the agent can see the neighboring pixels so for example if it's here it will see all these, um, how many of the three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, pick, eight um, grids around it. So the agent would be able to see the grids around it. So that's the observation that the agent gets. Um, or it could be maybe uh, it gets a bird eye view. So that, that depends from the environment to environment what the agent can see. So if you program it such that it can only see the next neighboring pixels or grids, then that's its observation. And depending on what observation it has, so depending on what it sees, it will it's going to take a step. So suppose the observation was the entire grid, then the action would be move to this step, move to this location. So that's one cycle. And then when it's there, it again gets the updated state as its observation. And then it'll take the next action and so on. So this is how um, reinforcement learning works. Now, compared to machine learning, where you could compare your outputs with the labels, here, um, your goal in a very vague manner is to maximize the reward. So um, maximizing the reward would be, for example, say, if you reach the terminal state, you get a reward of one. Otherwise, um, uh, say, um, each step costs a penalty of negative 0.1, right? So that means, when you reach the terminal state, you get a reward of one, and um, any other operation that you do, you get uh, you lose point one points. So the goal is to maximize the overall reward you get. So that would enforce that you reach this terminal state as quickly as you can. So uh, there are different ways of restating this uh, objective, but the objective is always to maximize the reward in some form or the other. So all reinforcement learning can problems can be cast in this agent and environment type of setting. So any place where um, the agent take, takes observations and decides what's the best possible thing to do, that is the paradigm in which um, reinforcement learning works. So uh, now we're gonna see some examples of these environments, something that we're gonna use to build our agents. In this last bit, I would like to go over the installation of Python and the gym library and try to see if um, we can also integrate that into MATLAB. So um, you can download Python from their homepage. Just go to python.org and just download it out. So once Python is downloaded, just install it. Um, the installation is pretty straightforward. Make sure you download Python 3 and not 2, but other than that, um, everything should be fine. To install gym library, so 
first, once you've installed Python, open your command prompt. And let's see if, three, let's see if Python is installed. So when you type Python, it shows if it's there or not. So that's that. And you can exit out of it by pressing Control Z. Now, um, we would like to install Jim environment. So I do pip install Jim and then I specify the version that I want. So there is an issue with the latest version currently, which is 0 0.18. So I am going to install the stable version, which is 0 0.17. So all, I, all you need to do is type in pip install gym equals equals 0 0.17. Hopefully in future, you don't need to specify the version number and it should be fine. But uh, for now, there is some bug. So PIP is just a Python package installer. So when I try this out, um, since I already have it installed, um, it just tells me that the requirement is satisfied. So that's all you need to do. Install Python and install Jim. That's it. So our um, reinforcement learning environment setup is done. Now let's see if we can import these things um, into MATLAB. So to do that, first, let's try out py env command. So that's p-y-e-n-v. That tells you whether MATLAB has um, rather has MATLAB detected the Python environment installed in the computer in on your computer. And for mine, it has detected. So it has found that I have Python version 3.9 and the location of it and so on. So if you um, encounter an empty list over here or an empty struct over here, that means Py MATLAB hasn't figured out the location of Python. So just try reinstalling Python and running this command again, and it should hopefully sort out this issue. So to load in the gym environment, what I will type is, let's say my env equals pi.gym.make and I pass in the environment name, let's say mountain car v0. And great. So MATLAB was able to load in the entire Python environment. So whenever you type a Python command through MATLAB, um, it has to be entered in this form fashion, pi dot. So that indicates Python dot. This is the library that we are using. And then what command do we want to issue? So this is the make command, which generates the environment. And here I have specified the environment that I want. I will go over the details of it in a later video on um, what does this mean? What is this specific environment? And how do we go about reinforcement learning in this? But I guess this is it for now. And I hope um, this video served as an orientation into reinforcement learning and um, setting up the environment. So over the course of multiple videos, we will go over um, applying reinforcement learning in this specific example in MATLAB. So I hope you guys liked it. See you next time.